The Panzerfaust. It's impossible to get gold in Vanguard. It's a bugged weapon right now. There's challenges that don't work. And surprisingly, there's a lot of people that don't know that. I get questions, I would say not every video, but every time launchers or gold weapons come up, there's always people that ask, can you put out a gold Panzerfaust guide? And unfortunately, I can't put out a full and complete Panzerfaust guide because there's no way to get it gold right now. I'll talk about everything you can do to complete all the challenges that are available to you in this video. And I also want to talk about the launcher itself and what could possibly be fixed to change it for the better, maybe? I don't know. And before anyone comments it down below, probably someone already has. Yes, I know. My hair looks greasy. I just came out of the shower. And yes, I have an e-boy haircut. Relax. But the Panzerfaust, the challenges that you can do right off the bat, you can do the eliminations, you can do the 100 destructions where you have to destroy either 100 air streaks, ground streaks, field upgrades, doesn't matter. You can do the ground streaks and field upgrades challenge, but that's as far as you can get. You can only do those three categories. The only categories you can't do are destroying 50 air streaks, which takes a long time to do and is bugged for me. I shot down a UAV in the video. You guys will see it on screen. I shot down a UAV, freaked out because it was the first UAV I've ever managed to shoot out of the sky. And then when the game finished, I had z I literally zero progression. Are you kidding me? I got scammed by Sledgehammer. And uh, yeah, so I'm assuming that challenge is bugged too. On top of that, it is extremely difficult to shoot down UAVs. Even if your Panzerfaust rocket explodes right beside the UAV and it's smoking, you're not going to destroy it. And then the last challenge is destroying three streaks in a single game. You can destroy if you could pull off a miracle and you destroy three UAVs in a single game. That's not counting and it won't count towards that camo challenge. And a lot of people might think, hey, well, what if you kill three dogs in a single match or three flame knots? Well, that doesn't work either. The two challenges literally just do not work. And a lot of people don't understand that. And a lot of people are going to ask because I shot down this UAV by a pure miracle of a chance how I shot it down. Basically, if you shoot down a UAV before, like just to, let's hypothetically say you're shooting down a UAV with the rockets and the rockets alone. Unfortunately, it takes two rockets from the Panzerfaust to destroy a UAV. You will literally get hit markers if you hit the UAV or counter UAV. It will start smoking, but you won't destroy it. So what you have to do is with a bullet weapon, shoot it till it's smoking. And then once the UAV is then smoking, then you have to buy a miracle and a Hail Mary of a shot, hit it. And the only reason I say it's a Hail Mary is because sometimes the rocket from the Panzerfaust doesn't seem like it reaches the flight height that the UAVs are at. Like, it always seems like the, the Panzerfaust rocket explodes way before it even gets close to the UAV, even if it's lined up. Like, I'll probably, I'll show it on screen, but even if, like, the UAV is lined up and you shoot your rocket and your rocket's heading towards the UAV, before it actually reaches the height of the UAV, it'll explode like right here and then you'll see like the explosion. So you can line up and your rocket will be like going towards the UAV. This probably looks really weird on camera, but as the UAV is flying through the air and you kind of like have to, I would say, lead your shots, even if it is lined up perfectly to make connection, it'll blow up literally just before UAV height. So if you're going to destroy a UAV, you pretty much have to have it not only weakened to where it's smoking, you have to get extremely lucky with your Panzerfaust shot because there's not really a, a tried and true way to perfectly line up your shots yet with it. And on top of that, you have to be like right under it so that your rocket can fly the farthest up without exploding randomly. So you pretty much have to be right beneath of the UAV as you destroy it. So yeah, it's extremely frustrating. And the thing is, is with the airstreaks not counting for me, I've definitely seen people that have destroyed airstreaks and it's counted for them. Personally, for me, I think the airstreak challenge should just be taken completely out of the game for the Panzerfaust. Like if you read the Panzerfaust's description, it says that it is a launcher that's really good for killing infantry mean and vehicles, meaning like I mean, there's not really any vehicles in the game, unless you're talking like modern warfare sense where the spy planes are vehicles, but vehicles on ground, basically, like the trucks and all the stuff lying around and it's good for destroying cover and killing players. It's not good for shooting down streaks whatsoever. A lot of people were saying, well, maybe the air streaks was just copied and pasted and it was a bugged challenge. Very similar to how bullet weapons have 
camo challenges that you have to use attachments that aren't even a thing in the game or aren't even attachments that you can equip on that weapon maybe it's very similar but with the launchers right now honestly if they're gonna fix these challenges fix them fast or at least increase the projectile speed and the hitbox that the Panzerfaust can hit on the UAVs that way people can actually shoot them down and then shooting down three UAVs in a single match won't be hard because it wasn't hard for the bazooka or the Panzer Shrek but the Panzerfaust is a different story I mean I I would hope they would change it so shooting down UAVs is just like the bazooka but if they were to change the challenges completely keep destroying three streaks in a single life in the game just let us do it with dogs because I mean everyone tends to call them dogs or ground streaks and then for the air streaks just change it to triple kills the MK-11 gets triple kills pretty easily in hardcore, and that's with the launcher that is pretty weak to begin with. It's the weakest damaging launcher in the entire game. But the Panzerfaust is by far the hardest hitting, so triple kills wouldn't be hard whatsoever. And for those wondering how I'm getting triple kills with the MK-11, go into hardcore domination on blitz or hardcore control on blitz everyone's always around objectives and if you're lucky enough to get a map say like das house players are packed together all the time regardless of if it's domination or patrol so you just shoot in the general direction where enemies are spawning or where enemies are on objectives and you get triple kills extremely easy a lot of people are going to control on blitz because everyone's always on the control point so triple kills are becoming extremely easy there with the mk11 launcher but this is something that could be useful if they change the challenges for the Panzerfaust. I mean, the Panzerfaust is like the one weapon in the game that I have a slight bit of worry for. And that's just because I don't want to have to do a launcher as my very last weapon in the game to get gold because I don't want to have to sit there and wait and wait and wait for UAVs to be called in. The reason I did the Panzer Shrek and the M1 Bazooka so fast in the game was because I don't want to have to worry about destroying kill streaks and all that stuff later in the game. I just want to get it done with so I never have to destroy anything again, or at least for camos, destroy anything again. And that way I can just do bullet weapons and then have the bullet weapons be the last thing I get gold in the game. But we just got to wait for a fix. And um, yeah, it's an unfortunate situation, but I hope that answers a lot of the questions that people had with this weapon and that we're asking for a camel guide. And I will say, when the challenge is fixed, or the challenge is changed, and whenever we get the fix for this weapon, you guys will see the full guide. And I think I'm going to work on the MK11 today and actually finish up. I need 20 more triple kills and like 20 more destructions of enemy equipment on the ground. And then that's gold as well. So uh, you guys might see that guide within the next couple of days here. Anyway, I'm about to head out. If there is one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.